So the two little shots I'm showing you in the beginning are what happens when you finish one run of Slay the Spire and I'm showing you my playtime. I have almost literally a hundred hours. I have 82 hours of playtime in Slay the Spire. And I've gotten, in my opinion, a lot of achievements that are, at least, at least they were, they were, I perceive them as more difficult than actually completing a run. Like stacking 99 poison with the silent. <laughs> the run you are seeing on screen right now and why I had to record it was me finally completing one run and technically beating the game uh, beating the game with the silent I finally that and the section I was showing you in the beginning is what happens when you beat the game with all three of the main characters so there's like this kind of super secret ultra ending so I was showing that for the players that if you know, you know, but now you know, because I just said it, but I have finally finished one run of Slay the Spire and I felt so good to make a video about it because I like strategy games and I was trying to find a strategy game that involved cards that, you know, was not Hearthstone or something like that, that I could get into and it wasn't Gwent inside the Witcher and Hey, I came to Slay the Spire. It looked like a really fun game. I love the art style and everything. And I finally finished one run. In this video, I'm gonna show my cards on screen and I'm gonna show like the relics I had. And it just, you know, and then of course the way I played. And I could give you an insight to how my mind was working through this, but I was just in the flow state. My roommate even was watching me and she was like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna just let you do your thing. She was also playing it in the other room because I put her onto this game because she also likes hard strategy type games like this. It's like, it's almost like that sweet little, like that, that sweet little side thing you like, at least in my game, in gaming genres for me, this is like one of those things where it's like I could get lost in for hours clearly. <laughs> so I almost I think I have more hours in this. Let me see. I have more hours in Slay the Spire than I do Elder Scrolls Oblivion. And that's saying something because I feel like I've been playing that forever, getting ready for uh Oh, what's their team? I want to do them justice. Hang on. Rebel Rebel ZZ. Rebel ZZ. Gotta get I gotta do you you guys justice because you gave me some love over here on the channel. Um Rebel ZZ, yeah, they're working on Sky Oblivion, so you know i was playing oblivion and trying to do it everything and anything and everything within the game so to get prepared for the remaster that they're working on go show them some support but other than that this the way the reason i had to record this this gameplay is so special because i made this build three or two two-ish three-ish months ago and i wish i screen recorded me playing the game for the first time in three months we we had this like joke inside the house this joke and this laugh about like that i just I, slay the spire tilted me and it didn't i just was like looking at myself like what is wrong how am i stacking 99 poison and all this strength with get jacks and stuff and i'm not beating the game something is off about my strategy i'm getting unbelievably good rolls during the game unbelievably good rng and i can't stick the landing i was like what the fuck and this happens to me in other games too i will get incredible rng i will literally have god hand down cheat codes to me and i will still somehow fumble now it doesn't happen all the time but a lot of the time man the only games i would say that doesn't happen in is fps's I get warmed up, get started in that, and I'm a monster. I'll go off. But in strategy games or games of the sort, man, I swear I get the best RNG and I just cannot get to the end. Uh, the, the other thing that ha happens in Dead Cells as well, where I've played Dead Cells so much and that's roguelike. And dude, I feel like I don't know why I'm stuck in this loop of not getting to the end of the game, but I run through it like I look like a speedrunner, that a speedrunner that can't complete any run. <laughs> but Slay the Spire is absolutely amazing. And I had to share this video with y'all because this was finally my first win. And uh, and then I got the credits rolling out at the end. And just, just, just to give a shout out to all the beautiful people that made this game come together. 
But yeah, man, I finally beat the game, technically, with the silent. And that's before the ironclad and the defect, because she's my favorite. I don't know why. I just really like the poison mechanic. And I really like her other builds with shivs. So I just make it work. Anyways, if you guys ever wanted to see more Slay the Spire videos, let me know. I would live stream it or something, maybe. I just, I play it on the side if I'm bored. And it is definitely that game. That game. But I, this video was special to me because I literally, <laughs> you know when they say you got to step away from something and come back? I stepped away from damn near three months and came back and beat the game. <laughs> when I was stuck for almost a hundred hours not being able to beat the game. But anyways, see you guys. Much love and moonlight. Peace out.